Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect and indeed a new series and the first video on the channel for 2023 so plus one generic new calendar point as well by the way today's beverage is a very nice peppermint tea very nice indeed and that is apparently a very green yard in the background there either way welcome back to the game and something just a little bit different so in the past when we do these series we go through the same sort of process which is idea concept planning building execution management and then finally some extreme testing slash escape towards the end and that has served us quite well however I've been wanting to mix things up a little bit and try something a bit more spontaneous and this is that we are going to do a full series where possible we use very little to no planning and also very little to no rooms that are custom it's all gonna be based around the quick build tool now it's unfair to say that you can make a prison solely with the quick build function because there's just some rooms that aren't used as well as some things like yards that you need to place however where possible we are going to be using that quick build uh, function and tools in order to make a facility that may or may not burn down after a couple of episodes so let's just jump in and see how we get on normally this would be the planning episode and we'll discuss the ideas well that's not gonna happen we are literally jumping in and we are going to start to create the facility I don't have any idea in mind but I'm sure it's gonna be symmetrical okay let's go to create new prison um, let's go for prison agenda I would like to do a, a female facility at some point but there's no quick build nursery as far as I'm aware so that would be suboptimal with a quick build build so we'll go with male Uniform is default, uh, not going to change the uniform colours, not going to change the security level. Regarding security level, I'm not too sure what we're going to have. I'm maybe going to go with a mixed bag, a medium up to max sec, maybe different wings, who knows? Let's just see where this takes us. Let's, let's say i be a bit more spontaneous than uh, in the past. We're going to go with, uh, well, Warden and Guard Dogs will go uh, for later on. World size is small, we're going to have funds, we're just going to kick that up a little bit to 50,000 generic units of currency. Plot type is default, weather and intensity is disabled. Gangs is disabled, dynamic repetitions is disabled. We're not going to have Fog of War because it's better for you to see. Uh, conditions will be on we're going to generate forests we're going to generate lakes we're going to generate buildings so we're going to have more to deal with there and we're definitely not going to go with warden mode what on earth is going in the background there i think that's a massive escape of some kind anyway we will have events activated we're not going to bother with temperature but we are going to go with staff needs um there isn't a hmm as far as i'm aware there's not a quick build staff canteen but we should just be able to use the normal canteen and then set it to staff only and that will probably work out escape plans will be on we're not going to bother with unlimited funds or bureaucracy researched a dlc wise we've got all manner of things you've got undead prisoner aging i think we'll turn on prisoner aging why not uh gangs perfect storm island bound basically it's all disabled we've we have all of the dlc activated no mods on this run however it is a case of yeah just run with default for our warden we're going to go with the pacifier which is reduces the overall temperature of your prison making your inmates less likely to cause trouble and as for our guard dog we're going to go with monarch cute and adorable low ground clearance for improved aerodynamics surprisingly agile let's click play and see what we have been given now i've got buildings and i've got forests technically but no lakes so did i did I did I activate that? I don't know, but this is what we have been given. Let's just close off the intake there because I have no idea what we're going to have. We're going to go to objects right to the bottom there and then disable, uh, dismantle, disable, uh, but we are going to also probably remove the walls up here because they're not really a, a building as such. So here's our workforce coming in. We've got our deliveries and the garbage there, which again, uh, we're going to have to move over. So if we've got a quick build, you can see there's all manner of buildings in here. So you've got basic cells, improved cells, and then I think there's a luxury. Yeah, there's a luxury cell. Wow, that's a uh, that's pretty nice. You've got what's in there? You've got a computer, TV, chair, you've got radios, showers and uh, books and everything else. That's pretty good. Oh, there's also a yard. There is a quick build yard, but it is inside appear to be what is that just a compound of some kind hmm uh we can do custom and cloning but obviously there's no uh oh, there's a hedge maze as well. <laughs> there's a lot more stuff than I have um 
really experience before. So we can use yard, but I don't think we've got things like the garage and stuff. Uh, the garage? The garbage. So we'll move that over there. So garbage we will remove and place on the other side. Uh, maybe temporary, maybe permanent. Haven't yet decided. It will be based on uh, forgetfulness. And deliveries will be placed over there as well. So we'll just have it as a size of, say, 4x12. We'll remove that one. And then finally export, which can go down the bottom there. And same sort of size because well obviously all of the workers are doing this oh we've got the sci-fi clock on there uh, that's part of the future tech stuff uh, I think I'm going to probably default that actually let's go back and we're gonna go with just a standard analog clock and there we go right so they're removing all of this which is fine CEO's letter we can put in the bin we can well, we need to get some grants. So in terms of grants, we've got all sorts of grants. Uh, the Administration Centre is probably the first one we're going to pick up, followed by the hmm, Basic Detention Centre. So that's 75 grand. Not bad at all. So we have to think about a couple of things. We need a wall around the outside. That generally stops prisoners from just walking out. We're not making an open prison. And the question is, do we want to build a... A wall around the outside and then a gap of 10 and then the rest of it. I think we do not because we're probably going to go for expansion because uh, it'll be a quick series if we don't. So, well, let's do that. So over to walls and doors and to fencing grass and for the fence here, we're going to bring it right down there. We're going to bring it all the way along to about there for now and then same on this side. The reason I'm doing that is because I am going to leave a gap of 10 on this side and this will be like admin and also stop stuff being thrown in I guess and well let's see if that is actually going to function well we'll have to, have to do a bit of planning here I mean can't begrudge a little bit of planning there's gonna be the wall there gap of 10 I know we don't need 10 uh, technically you only need 10 from there to there so we're well overdoing it but well yeah, there's nothing excels like excess, so that can go to there, and then, well, basically, that's going to be the, the double sort of skin, as it were. So over to, once again, our walls and doors, and then the fencing there, which is the grass. That's going to go along. We're going to have one that comes along here as well, so that'll just go straight across. We're going to come down, and then just reset that there. And, well, maybe a door is in order. That's uh, generally helpful to get in the facility. So over to doors, and I think we're going to have... Do we have double doors? Doors. Mm, we've got gates there. We've got double doors for the staff doors. I guess we're just going to have to... <laughs> bamboo doors. Hmm, not ideal. Uh, so we'll just go... On standard fence. We're just going to go with maybe jail doors. Yeah, we'll go with the jail doors. Why not? Um, don't know where the middle is. Let's let's have a middle on this one. So is it uh, 40 to there? Let me just double check. Is that correct or do we need to shift it? So over to there, 39. And the last one, it's also 39. And I can see we're having a little bit of an issue with these guys here because... They are stuck inside. Anyway, over to our walls and doors, and then doors again. We're going to go for a jail door. One will go there, one will go there, and then we'll remove the planning. And it's as if it's never happened. There we go. And then, hopefully, prisoners can uh, now get access to the facility as well as, as, well as our uh, staff as well. So, we do need an administration centre, and the administration centre, I think, is going to be in and around here. So, let's do that. Let's go over to quick build and then to the offices and we need how many of these well we need six in total and I guess I could place them there and overlap them that would probably be the the better option or do I have the gap they just leave a gap all the way along um yeah placing them there would be the the better idea but that also means redoing some of the walls do I care uh no I think we can probably redo that so one there two three actually no we only need two for now because this is two officers warden finance and then the accountant so again using quick build and letting the staff do whatever they need to do this wall will have to be replaced with a brick wall but that is fine as I said we are we are allowed to where necessary alter things and just wait for it to be fully built here but the idea is to use the quick build is there a power room as well i don't know if we've got a power room here um yes there is a utility room which has power so the power can go that can go on that side this time so we're now going to have one office which means we can get a warden 
there's one warden, and we'll have a look at bureaucracy, we're going to unlock finance through bureaucracy, and nothing else because we know for a fact... You okay there, mate? Bowen, you seem to be um, struggling with the concept of functioning. Are they trying to get there? I think they're trying to get there <laughs> to replace that. Ah. So already, we have a bit of an issue. Okay, right. Uh, demolish walls. Prioritise. Fix that. It's now fixed. We'll put the walls back in. <laughs> this is the sort of thing that we could expect. So, looks like the power room's getting built. And they are actually replacing this. That's good. So, we need to build one more office. And that has not been set to office. Now it's been set to office. And we need to hire an accountant. Uh, one. And there we go. We have got a grant done. So, with that, we're going to go for bureaucracy. We're going to go for, with the warden, security, health, maintenance. We're going to go for extra grant and a bank loan. That's with the finance operative here. Power's also up and running. And the capacitors are in. Let's run some power. Utilities, electrical cable. We're going to run that out and down. And... Is that a silly idea? It is a very silly idea. We'll just do that. <laughs> that's, uh, that's much easier. We're going to have this go along... Ah, oh, here's a thing. So, this is where we've got the sort of gap that I mentioned. But, there is a reception. And... We could probably place it in there, couldn't we? We could. I could also place it there. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. And then I can have metal detectors there. So again, quick build where possible. And then just adding on a little bit with extras. So in this case, we'll put some metal detectors in. If we just used all of the quick build, there'd be lots of stuff that we'd missed. But, I mean, the cells are going to be interesting because we'll have to build them like that and then sort of lay them up to make a sort of cell block. But that'll be a future as problem. So there's all the stuff getting bought and built. It's amazing how much space you have when you don't bother with the big perimeter wall around the outside. There's a notebook page which we can get rid of. Um, so what do we need? We need yards. We need cells. We need more grants. Go for long-term investment. Now we're doing for bureaucracy. Bank loan is almost finished, which we will promptly take a bank loan just to increase our credit rating. There's all the guys going around, building whatever they can. And there's the reception in. It's not in yet. A couple of things they need to place. Some lights here. Doors have been locked open for now. And what I'll do is I'll place a door there and a door there. In fact, we'll do that now. Doors. Staff doors. But it'll actually be staff gate. There and there. So the top and bottom bits can be staff only. That makes sense. And there we go. There's our reception. While we're on, we're going to go for metal detector. And there you go. A couple of grand. Utilities. We'll have to wire that up. It's now done. And it looks like we have looks like we have options for flooring, I guess, as well. Like, at the moment, we just have whatever we have. Uh, was that dingling noise? Yes, that was for another grant, so short-term investment. And we'll pick up a loan just to increase our credit rating and, indeed, work on this. So, yeah, we have lots of options for flooring, which we will be utilising. I think, <laughs> I think we'll use, uh, most likely, the concrete tiles with the lines on because I really like those things. In fact, let's do that right now. And this is going to have a double walkway all the way along the outside. So let's just spend... spent? Let's spend... I wouldn't say a ridiculous amount of money, but it will be a noteworthy amount of money on putting in this walkway around the outside. And again, this is not planned. This is not something that I have planned for. Which may be bad. <laughs> I don't know where we're going to go from uh, from here. 
but the fun will be in finding out. As long as the journey's interesting, perhaps the destination doesn't really matter. Let's run across to there. And then finally, along to there. I have a feeling that this'll go along. Haven't yet decided. So we'll put in the internal corner pieces. Requires some rotation and often it's missed. So very often we leave flooring for the very last thing. I'm not saying it's going to be completely done flooring wise. But we'll do our best. So there's that. And that. And that. And that's about mm, some amount of thousands <laughs> spent on some flooring. How are we doing for bureaucracy? We got a bank loan, we got the extra grants, security's unlocked. We're gonna go for education, maintenance, and security will require some more offices. So quick building, uh, office. And do we wanna build all the offices right now? One, two, three. Mm, do we want one here? Because the psychologist normally benefits from being inside the facility for certain programs. So could we then have a staff room? We could have a staff room. But I'd like a staff canteen as well. So I might have that over this side. Because it ain't going to go in here. <laughs> a lot of wasted space here, but we can have that as storage if we need to. Um, okay, let's just, let's just have... Let's have the officers in. I'll put the officers in. All of them. That should do us for now. Rooms, storage. It's not like things degrade. If they're external. So we've got flooring. We've got officers. We've got power. We've got reception. We've got 42 grand remaining. we got the long-term investment and the short-term investment coming through. 40 for the short-term, 127 hours we're talking here for the long term um okay well because it does help that we get a little bit of extra funds for for the start things are pretty filthy right let's go for foreman and a chief both of those require officers but we'll see what happens when this is built Let's have a quick look, while they're building that, at the type of rooms that we have available to us. So, basic cells. Yep, it's what it says on the tin. It is a basic cell. It is a 3x2 internal with a bed, a toilet sink, and also the door. Which is generally helpful for getting in and out of rooms. Uh, we also have an improved cell, which is definitely improved from the previous one. It is a 3x4 internal with bed... Toilet sink and, in this case, a shower with extra flood protection because of the drains there. And also a TV, which is facing, well, if you're in bed, you'll be looking at the side of it. Sultry cells, yep, simple as you like. Luxury cell, very nice as you like. Shared cell, hmm, interesting. Hauling cell, nice. Office, we've seen. Canteen, small. So a canteen is, what's the capacity of that? Uh... Four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, with two serving tables. Kitchen. Wow. Okay. Medical. That's medical and a morgue mixed together. Shower block comes with piping. Staff room comes with sofa. Classroom doesn't have blackboard. Common room. Uh, quite like that. We'll probably add on to it where possible. But there you go. Um. For these here, by the way, I think I'm going to... I don't know what we're going to do in terms of the, the flooring. Like the walkways, but we'll see. Alright, so, the question is... Do we just build cells across the top? And then cells across here? Is that something we want to do? Or, do we want to make some sort of... Using the, the quick build tool, some sort of cell block with it? We probably could. 
we probably could. And how would we do that? Well, I like the idea of them being there and there with a sort of gap in the middle for maybe patrols, staff only areas. And then at one end of it, maybe we can have a shower. So we'd have to have a shower. Oh, the shower's a bit... The entrance is a bit, well, curious. I'm going to go as a decision. One of the problems with this is that you can't flip. You can only rotate. So we're just going to have to put up and shut up. So the shower is going to go because we can there. And this will be obviously put down the bottom here as well. For the cells, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, rotate, one, two, three, four, five. Do you want more? I think we're going to go for maybe ten in a row, but that'll do for now. So that'll be the holding cell done. No, sorry, shower done. We need a yard, kitchen, canteen, all of those sort of things. We need some more money. There's that money. So that is the grant completion for the short-term investment. We've got staff well-being initiative. Build a staff room. Have at least five guards without assigned duties. Ensure none of your staff are exhausted. Current rating... Uh, current credit rating is 8.5, which is good. I think we're going to go with... Inmate health and well-being. Because that's a relatively easy one to go for. So we do need a yard. We do need holding cells, showers, the lot. Showers are planned. Holding cell, I don't know where we're going to have one. If we're going to have one. I mean, we sort of have to have one, really. Medical ward is fairly easy to get. But, again, we ain't... Well, for the most part, using planning, he says, as he just removes some part of the planning that we used for measurement. <laughs> but I don't know what's going to go. But that is the fun of the series, hopefully. Either way, we're going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of Prison Architect. I don't think it's unfair to say that we've made a decent amount of progress. We've set our goals. We've started. We've got walls. We've got doors, we've got reception, got some storage in, all of the offices are placed. Utility area here for power and water. We've got a shower block that's getting built, followed by these cells here. So well on our way to getting prisoners sooner rather than later. Maybe at the end of the next episode we'll be able to see exactly when we can bring those in. Either way, hope you have enjoyed this episode and for what it is, this series thus far, Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.